Chayo. Okay, last yes, cla- last class. Uh, what we discussed? Uh, we discussed blade servers and rack servers, right? And I asked you to read something oh, about. Oh, iska comparison dekhi tum ne. Right. Hmm. Hmm. What is right? Red, the red levels. Hmm. Yeah. What is right? So oh, redundancy are. <coughs> so, usme kuch almost. Right zero. तो उसमें स्टोरेज के कुछ टाइप्स है जैसे मिररिंग है और ट्रिपिंग यस पर प्रॉब्लम ये है ना कि वो जीरो और वन छोड़ के बाकी का जो भी था वो कुछ भी नहीं समझ में आया कि वो बहुत बेट बाइक्स में गया वो और उसके वजह से वॉयस का जी वाला उसका जी वाला पूरा कांटेक्ट हिल गया मेरा ओके लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड राइट जीरो फर्स्ट ओके सो बिफोर दैट HP DL 360 Gen 10. Okay, so just look at the front panel. Okay, front panel like this, right? You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hard disk. Or else, let me take a uh, Cisco M220. C220 M4. M4, right? Yes, let's open it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. If you look at, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hard disk. Okay, maximum you can put eight, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so can I can I put minimum two hard disk? Right. So if I want to configure RAID zero, I would I would oh, need right. minimum two hard disk. So imagine in this picture, one and two are full. Rest of them are all dummy plates. Okay. Means I've I've purchased mm. two hard disks with one TB each. Okay, two hard disks mm-hmm. with one TB each. In this case, what will happen if you configure RAID zero? What is RAID zero? What is the meaning of RAID zero? What is the meaning of RAID zero? <coughs> mirroring. 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 Let's see. Oh. RAID zero consists of. Sorry. Stripping. Not zero. A Not a mirroring. Zero stripping and one is mirroring. Yes. My bad. Yes. My bad. Yeah. <clears throat> That's fine. So imagine this is front side of your server, and you have only two hard disk. Okay. And if you have inserted two hard disk, where you have inserted, mm-hmm. there is a RAID controller, which is a RAID controller. Which is attached to a motherboard. Okay, imagine this is your whole motherboard. Mm-hmm. Okay, it has memory sticks. Also, it has CPU. Means CPU, RAM, hard disk. One hard disk, two. Okay, what is RAID zero? stripping what it will do mm-hmm. let's say for example <clears throat> you have configured raid 0 and you install windows on top of it and also you have installed ms office now i have open up one excel okay from where this excel is loaded mm-hmm. imagine 
from disk 1 and disk 2 it my, my operating system is try, tried copying MS Office software and loaded into the RAM do you agree on it right if, if I open yes. Excel means if I open Excel means okay let's say for example I've inserted some data and I did some calculations who is performing all these things okay whatever the data I'm inserting RAM is picking up my inputs okay and CPU is calculating the result and it is showing the results here right if I say control s what will happen it will ask you where do you want to save the file if I say browse desktop okay save if I click save the file will be saved over here right means what where is this desktop is located in the in the hard disk one and two only okay so when you say control when you when you press control s what will happen let's for example have you ever formatted pen drive yes okay what is the block size have you ever observed the block size hmm? if you form no, if you no, okay. okay if you format the pen, pen drive it will ask fat 32 or something then if, if you once once you have formatted then okay then it, it will be empty but there is a block size defined 12k 32k uh, 8kb 16kb 32kb like that have you ever seen mm -hmm. huh? no, no. Hello. no just give me a moment if I'm able to find out some thumb drive, yeah, let me connect. Let me connect this. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Right click. Format. If you see, allocation unit size. What is this? 8kb, 16kb, 32, 64kb, right? Right? Do you, okay, so what it means? What it means? Okay, while, for, will be created of while formatting, that. while formatting, it will format in 16k, 32k, or 64k bits at a time means let's say for example you are in a gym okay and you have a weight lift okay how much weight that you can lift 20 kg okay if i put 25 will you be able to 26 will you be able to maybe you'll try it out right yeah okay and if I if I put if I remove 10 or 15 cages more and I just give you only five cages will you be able to yes right yes I can okay but your your capacity yeah. level is 20 cages as per you similarly if I purchase the system I have installed the operating system operating system also has some capacity right those, that capacity what the capacity means let's say for example if operating system is sending some request to hard disk to pull some data okay if if system want to pull some data how much data that system can pull at a time that is that system capacity let's say for example if your excel sheet okay. is 2 mb if your excel sheet is 2 mb okay however system capacity is 0.5 MB okay that is your block size means this 2 MB Excel sheet will be divided into four pieces okay four pieces and when you pray when you press control s that four pieces will be written into hard disk so if it is a right zero striping means P, uh, p first piece will be written here and second will be written third will be here fourth will be here means parallelly parallelly 
1 and 2 will be written and 2, 3 and 4 will be written. You got it what <coughs> I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. If you press Control S from RAM to hard disk, the data will be transferred. How it will be transferred? In the form of four packets or four blocks, not the packets. Yes. Packet yes. is a networking term. Okay. Block is the data term. Okay. Imagine it is transferred, transferring in the form of packet uh, blocks. My bad. Okay. So each block will be written onto one hard disk. So whenever you double click once again, two hard disks will read the data and they will reconstruct and open the Excel. Okay. What will happen if this hard disk goes bad? If this hard disk goes bad, block two and block four are, are gone. Your Excel sheet is corrupted. Your data is gone. But what is that? What is the advantage of RAID zero? Your data will be written into hard disk very faster. And you, if you read something, the performance is high because for one Excel sheet backend, you have a two hard disks working together to construct that Excel. <coughs> Now I got it. Huh? Mm, I, I got it. I got it. You got it? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what is the disadvantage? If one hard disk goes bad, then your entire data is gone. Okay. Yeah. Then, what is the usable capacity here? 2 into 1 TB. 2 TB is the usable capacity. Right? Means if you log into the mm -hmm. server, you will see 2 TB. Right. Okay. So let's move on to RAID 1. RAID 1. In RAID 1, what will happen? The same two hard disk, same four blocks. When you if you configure the RAID 1 how RAID controller will behave? RAID controller, who is doing all these things? RAID controller will pick the data from RAM and while returning it, while writing the data onto hard disk, one will be written here, one will be written here, two will be written here, two will be written here, three, three, four, four means mirroring. Okay. Same code. Now, if you have a two one TB, uh, sorry, two one TB hard disk, how is the capacity? One TB only because fifty percent is in mirroring. Mm. Right. Okay, but what is the advantage? Mm -hmm. Even even if one hard disk goes bad, then your system will run as it is without any issue because you have second hard disk configured <coughs> as a RAID one so that there is no impact. What will happen if both the hard disk goes bad? Both the if the both the hard disk goes bad at a, at the same time, then you're gone. Your data is gone. Okay. Let's say for example, let's say for example, if you have an eight hard disk, eight into one TB, four uh, four TB you will get because RAID 1 is mirroring, half of the space will be gone for secondary copy. Right? Right, right. Okay, then what is the solution? In RAID 0, in RAID 0, you'll, you'll have your performance is high. Okay your performance is high and <coughs> your readiness is zero. In RAID 1, your readiness your red, your red is high but your capacity is half. So there is another concept called another concept called RAID 5. Leave about 2, 3, 4 and all. Yes. No one will use it in real time. Okay, four some some somehow four will be used in NetApp, 
Okay, so I'll explain when we discuss when we discuss about uh, NetApp uh, RAID configurations and all. Okay, but when it comes to <laughs> traditional way RAID five, how it works? In the same picture, if you want to if you want to configure RAID five, you would require minimum three hard disk. Otherwise, you cannot configure RAID five. Minimum three hard disk. Okay. okay, same funder. You have a CPU. Okay, you have a CPU and RAM. Same Excel sheet of four blocks. One, two, three, four. Four blocks. Okay, if you press Control S, how RAID controller will behave? RAID controller will behave. Okay, if you place, oh, sorry, if you press Control S, one, two, parity. <laughs> Three, four, parity. <coughs> what is parity? Uh, first of all, you tell me what is one and two. One, two, three, four. What? What are all they? What that block contains? Data of zero, one, one, zero. Right? In 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 somehow in digital format, right? Okay. In this case, what parity will contain? Parity will be something which is derived from one and two blocks. What it will do? It will compare block one and block two and it will derive parity. It means, uh, will that parity have the uh, combination of one and two? It's a combination of one and two. Okay, if if one is gone, one is gone, two and parity will work together and they can recreate one. Okay, and three and four are there. It means that means that means if one is gone means hard disk one is gone. Okay, so three and four are three and four are still alive. So three and four will work together and create another parity. So your data is safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Board. but let's take a scenario. If you have eight hard disk, how it works? Same case. One, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven. Last one is parity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one is parity, and so on like this. Okay, randomly it will write the parity somewhere. What? How much capacity that you will get in in this scenario? Let's say, for example, if you have a three hard disk, you configure RAID five. So the RAID configuration works in a such a way that n minus one. That means if you have a three three minus one two hard disk capacity two TB usable. If you have a three TB three into one and minus one. Okay, if you have 8 TB, 8 into 1 minus 1, 7 TB is a usable capacity. Always one hard disk capacity will go on to reserve for parity. Got it. So, uh, question for you. Mm. Um, in, in, in our example, mm -hmm. after one first and second hard disk, we put the parity, right? And after Parities. third and fourth, we put one more parity. Uh, uh, no parity is spread it across every hard disk it doesn't doesn't mean uh, if you selected one parity that parity will be saved into that particular dedicated disk no the parity is spread it across all the hard disk it can write the parity anywhere but if one hard disk goes wrong okay all the other hard disk and their parities will work together to reconstruct the data without any issue means if one hard disk goes wrong your data is safe no issues system will run as it is no impact okay um, uh, is there any rule uh, to place the parity or it will be i mean that part will be that's done by the that's red system, controller system will maintain automatically you don't need to worry about uh, how it will be maintained okay, okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. Only thing you have to worry because, about. Uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Because when we took example of that eight hard disk, so we put the parity at the end. No, 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 so no, no. That's why. No, no, no. I, no. I haven't put the parity at eight. System will automatically. <laughs> Let's say, for example, okay, I, I have taken eight hard disk, and I got only six blocks. Six blocks. Block one, two, three, four, five. Six blocks in one Excel sheet. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth one is parity. Six. After that, seventh one is parity. Sorry, right? Not the eighth one. I said I have eight hard disk. <coughs> okay, but my my file is very small, and system has created only six blocks. After writing six blocks, seventh block will be a parity, mm -hmm. right? So in that case, it won't go to. Okay, now I got it. Now. Clear? Right. Mm, right. Now, <clears throat> I got it. Just give me one one minute. I think my laptop is yeah, it's getting discharged. Yeah. Let let me you know. Uh, yeah. Let, reconnect. Let me, reconnect. Give me a second. So. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, it is it's not uh, discharged yet, but it is getting discharged. Maybe it's only five or ten percent. Yeah, oh, ten percent. Okay. Give me a second. Let let me put the charger. Okay. One second, please. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, yeah. So, what is the disadvantage here? Only the disadvantage, as I said in first class, what will happen if two hard disks goes bad at a time? Uh -huh. Hello. Thing will be gone. Data will be. Yes, yes. There will be a data loss. Right will be corrupted. Gone. And there will be a data loss. Right. Okay. Then. Right, right. What is what? What the next option? Then you have another concept called. Another concept called RAID six. Okay, RAID 6. Mm -hmm. In this case, what will happen? In the same server, if you are trying to construct a RAID 6, you need minimum 4 hard disk. Minimum 4 hard disk. Okay, same Excel sheet if you are writing into 1, 2, Three, four. In, if you are writing into hard disk, or how it works? Block one, block two, parity, dual parity. Block three, block four, parity, dual parity. So what will happen if <coughs> if one hard disk goes bad? No issue. Data is safe. If two hard disk goes wrong, no issue. Data is safe. If three hard disks goes wrong at a time, then there will be a data loss. Okay, so this is parity, this is mm -hmm. dual parity. Mm. Okay, in this case, the calculation is something n minus 2. That means if you have a 4 minus 2, means 2 TB capacity. If you have 8 hard disk minus 2, 6 TB <coughs> capacity.
Do you understand? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's move on. Let's say, for example, I have one server which has which has sixteen slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Sixteen slots. Okay. Now I got a requirement: C C drive, hundred gig, D drive. 4TB, E drive, 4TB, F drive, 3TB. Okay. In this case, mm -hmm. how you will build the system? So, what I will do? As I said, system will support mixed kind of disk so what I will do 2 into 100 GB SSD I'll, I'll purchase okay and rest all 14 into 1 TB SAS drives I will purchase so how I will configure let's say for example I can place 100 GB and 100 GB here right 200 GB. So, what I will do, I'll simply configure, I'll select these two hard disk and I'll simply configure red 0. Red 0 is mirroring. Sorry, red 1. Right? My bad. Red 1. Okay. Mirroring. <coughs> Okay, and I'll install C drive which is of 100 GB. 200 is there, right? One is mirroring, you'll get 100 GB usable, right? 100 GB into reserve. Okay, so C drive is satisfied. Why you need a two hard disks for C drive? Because if one goes wrong, second will be working as it is my server will be up and running without any issue what what i will do i will simply go and uh, talk to vendor for the replacement within next 24 hours engineer will come and replace the faulty hard disk right once the hard disk is replaced then the other working hard disk will copy the data onto the new hard disk and both will be in sync that you that process you call it as index rebuilding and once the index rebuilding is done then you have again two hard disk in production okay in all these conditions you don't require any downtime every hard disk is hard swappable hard swappable means the server is up and running and you can remove the hard disk and you can insert the new hard disk no problem at all Clear? Now, clear. Yes. Okay. What is next? I need to create four TB. So what I will do? I will select these five hard disk, five hard disk, and I will create RAID five. Means n minus one. Means five minus one equal to four TB, which is D drive. It's fine. Okay, and I will select these five hard disk. Uh, sorry, not like that. Yeah, these five hard disk. I'll create another RAID five, which is n minus one. Again, four TB E drive. I will select these four, and I'll configure RAID five three TB. N minus one, three TB, which is F drive. Is it working? Okay. Or else, or else, what I will do, or for best practices, let's say for example, my calculation is wrong. If it is two TB only, two TB only. So I'll create two TB. But in this case, how it works? Let me clear this off. 2 TB only. Okay. 
So I will select these three and I will create 2TB, right? E drive, sorry, F drive, right? There is a one hard disk which is still left empty. What I will do, I will select this, I will assign to this pool, this pool, and also this pool. For all the three RAID groups, I will assign this as a shared spare drive. Shared spare spare drive means if this hard disk goes bad, this hard disk goes bad, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are still alive, right? <laughs> hmm? So these four disks will right. work. They will work together and automatically start writing the data into this spare disk. When when there is a failure, then only. Otherwise, 365 days, the spare drive will sit ideal, do nothing. You got it? Yes. Okay. This, this is and this is this is like your Stephanie in your car. It will not do anything mm -hmm. until unless if something goes bad in the running wheels. If one one tire is punctured, then you can probably halt somewhere and replace it and move on. Similarly, if one hard disk goes bad, okay, system won't halt because it has a logic built in the back end, automatically start syncing the data onto that empty hard disk. Okay, once vendor is came in, he will simply remove this hard disk and he will insert new brand new hard disk. Now, this brand new hard disk will become spare again. This will become a spare drive. Okay. okay. So, if vendor is, let's say for example, hard disk is failed in when, Friday and the vendor won't come till Monday. Then what you will do? You cannot take a risk, right? In between uh, Monday and Friday, if something goes wrong within the same RAID group, another disk goes bad, then you are in trouble. To avoid that, mm -hmm. that spare drive will help you. Okay, this is how you build in, in your real time. Okay, what else? I thought Sorry. I thought that index rebuilding will work in this case as well. Sorry? I, I thought okay. I thought that index rebuilding will work in this case as well. No. But 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 you cleared that okay. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Any more any more questions on raid con raid configurations? I hope I covered best. Which one? Yep. Yes, yes. You, you did well. Uh, which one is the most famous or mostly used red level? One and five work together. One and five. Okay. Okay. Right? Great. Uh, 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 other, yes. uh, what is the other question that I gave you on the other day? I uh, uh, blade blade server blade server. Sorry. Comparison blade server comparison comparison blade server. I asked I mean, you the models yeah. just just to note down the models. What all the models where you have in other brands? What all the blade server models? Have you ever done that? No, I missed this question, but I was on that red one. I, I missed the other question. Okay, I said, I explained you how C7000 works, right? I asked you to at least mm -hmm. identify the models of Cisco. Cisco, I said UCS, but I need you to go through the models, model, what kind of model that you have in the market. Also, any other vendors mm -hmm. like IBM, Blades, and mm -hmm. Dell, Dell Blades. That's it. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Yes. Um, two, two questions for you. Uh, 
could you uh, see uh, could you please explain the scuzzy part scuzzy scuzzy part yeah i scuzzy and scuzzy i scuzzy is different that will uh, that will discuss when you are discussing the san uh, san protocols okay but when it comes to scuzzy okay what will happen you have your server imagine you have your front end you have a slots to insert hard disk how raid controller function raid controller will function you are, you have your motherboard and motherboard is connected okay sorry raid controller is connected to motherboard like this and on top of raid controller you have inserted all your hard disk okay so how raid controller will mm -hmm. understand i need to send this data to this drive okay then the serial attack scuzzy what it will do it will give you the hardware numbering uh, slot 0 control uh, sorry uh, yeah controller 1 controller 2 let's say for example okay raid controller controller 1 mm -hmm. and controller 2 okay what is the numbering controller 1 controller 1 slot 0 controller 1 slot 1 slot 2 slot 3 up to 8 and controller 2 slot 0 1 up to 7 sorry 0 to 7 0 to 7 okay so that hard disk numbering who will who will assign that hard disk numbering manufacturer will have that serial uh, slot numbers okay scuzzy controller will understand request if if a system is trying to save something it it will verify on which hard disk i need to send this data hardware wise okay hardware wise okay now raid controller will identify okay this excel this operating system is telling me that save it on C drive. C drive is combination of slot 0 and slot 0. Then it will write on these two slots. Okay. okay. That is SCSI numbering. Hardware level numbering or simply. iSCSI is different that we will discuss in SAN protocols. Okay. Okay. Any further questions? No. Uh, so give me a second now. I'm just uh, doing that payment. One, one more moment, please. Sorry? I'm doing the payment. Uh, please. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, let me stop. So, uh, if you don't have any questions, I'll stop the recording first. Then we can discuss. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just give me a moment. <laughs> 